Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And by nutritional genius, let me clarify, I am objectively the most intelligent, smartest, well-researched person in the diet, nutrition, health hemisphere on YouTube. You know, with all the doctors, other influencers, plagiarizing me, not mentioning my name. I just want you guys to know. That's why I'm titling these videos Nutritional Genius. And today, we're gonna do a standard American diet version of what I would eat to fix my liver. It's gonna be basically like stuff that I don't normally eat, and that's because, you know, the average person wants to eat three meals a day of kind of like nostalgic foods that they've had their whole life. So let's start with that breakfast. Pretty simple, guys. We have an organic pancake mix that has fairly minimal ingredients, just flour, sugar, some leavening, which isn't the best, you know, some chemicals in it, salt, potato starch, cassava starch. So there's downsides to some of these ingredients. However, compared to what the average person eats, this is miles, miles ahead. And those slightly negative ingredients are what actually gives it some decent flavor and texture. With the pancakes, we're just gonna mix it with some glass bottle mineral water, maple syrup, and the lighter colored the maple syrup Generally speaking, the lower the anti-nutrient content is, so we got the golden colored maple syrup and just some walnut butter to spread on top to add a little bit of fat. And in general, uh, plant butters, you know, omega-6 based stuff, even though it's not the best, especially if it's a vegetable seed oil, it's a bit easier on your liver uh, than the animal fats. So the nice thing about this is you don't really have to measure, just kind of go by the consistency after you mix it up and I guess another theme today guys is this is gonna be very quick very easy no extensive meal prep and literally just mixing powder water and throw it in the pan so we just got some liquid coconut oil aka MCT oil in the pan you guys know I like this because it's antifungal anti candida and we'll just do one pancake at a time so the problem with pancakes is you need a really well seasoned cast iron pan for it not to stick and I don't have that, so this is not the worst thing in the world to be using. So the only problem with pancakes is they can soak up a lot of oil, so if you're trying not to eat too much fat, it might not be the best choice. I'll save this rest of the batter for tomorrow. That looks good. So not only will this be quick, simple, easy, it will also be very delicious. So a little bit of the walnut butter on top, maybe a tablespoon. And if you don't want to put too much fat, like with the coconut oil in the pan, you can definitely just... Uh, put like the pancake batter on a sheet pan in the oven and just bake it. And guys, this is basically flour and sugar. So it's kind of empty carbohydrates that your liver can kind of flush things out and detox with. So after the walnut butter, we have our maple syrup. Probably more than I'm going to eat, but there we go. Sprinkle a little bit of salt on top for the salty sweet combination. So outside of the pancake, we have the water kefir grains and water kefir. You guys can get these on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. Best probiotic to exist, as well as some mastic gum, which is available on organsupplements.com. It's an antimicrobial. And in the morning, you know, sometimes the kefir is alcoholic, so you can just have grains. It's fine. It's just as effective. And drink it with some water or whatever. So, look, I mean, if you can't have dairy, if you can't have eggs, this is so delicious. If you're craving some type of breakfast, like pancakes or butter, this will hit the spot. It is a little low in fiber, so maybe have an apple with it. So after eating about half the pancake, I'm going to have some of the kefir grains. Man, am I going to be drunk? Some of you guys might be thinking, Frank, where's the protein? And in this case, it's more important to give your body something to push through, get those toxins out of the liver, the plain slate of starch and carbohydrates, as opposed to getting more protein. You know, if you have meat for lunch and dinner or just dinner, as long as you're getting a decent amount of beef in your diet, it's completely fine to skip protein for a meal or two. And that's definitely one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're trying to fix their health, like protein can be very hard on the digestive system. So when people overconsume protein and feel like they need to have it at every meal, it might be doing more harm than good, especially if you have something that's 
very high in B vitamins like water kefir that can replace some of those nutrients that are in the meat. If the person wants to have protein with this meal, I would say maybe a couple of egg whites are okay, but I'm not really a fan of egg whites and they're not that great for your gut. I barely finished that, those pancakes are so heavy. Uh, so at the end of the meal, we're gonna have some mastic gum, maybe a teaspoon of mastic gum, just like this, swallow it down. So the kefir grains and the water kefir help digest the carbohydrates and sugar. The mastic gum keeps it out of the stomach because you don't want H. pylori overgrowing in the stomach and causing all these types of reactions. And if you need to, you can also do activated charcoal to help suck some of those toxins up. So a lot of people like adding supplements because they think they need more vitamins, they have nutrient deficiencies, and they're right. They probably do have nutrient deficiencies, but it's more important to give your liver a break because even if you're adding something positive to your diet, your liver still has to process it. Therefore, if someone can show you that, hey, I can follow this diet for two, three weeks, then say, okay, now there's a little more stress off your body, off your liver, let's see what other things we can incorporate. So there are certain things I might take today, like magnesium and zinc, uh, but it depends on how I feel and how I'm sleeping, because if you're not sleeping well, then you kind of want to lay off the supplements. So I'm kind of stuffed. And I normally eat two meals per day, but since we're doing this for standard American diet, we'll come back for lunch in a couple hours. What you guys could also do is organic apple cinnamon oatmeal. I don't feel so good after eating this because it just doesn't digest that well, it kind of sits in my stomach. So I've stopped having it, but you guys could try it out, see how you feel. You know, maybe also like organic sourdough bread with some egg whites. I don't know. You can get creative. You can have fruit for breakfast with like coconut milk, or coconut cream or something. There's a bunch of different stuff you guys can do, but for the most part, these are some very approachable kind of standard American diet-esque breakfasts that you can have. So we'll see you guys for lunch. Unfortunately, I was not abducted by a vegan girl, so we are back here for lunch, having a roast beef sandwich with potato chips. And I know I've showed you guys like these chips in the past and they have vegetable seed oils in them and they actually make my heart hurt. So. <laughs> You want to make your own French fries or potato chips at home. You know, take a raw potato, slice it up, salt, oven, whatever it may be. That's ideal, but compared to what the average standard American dieter is eating, these organic potato chips aren't the end of the world. We have just, you know, one of my favorite mustard brands, just mustard seeds, vinegar, water, salt, very simple ingredient list. We have the bread alone, organic sourdough bread, and some roast beef from Frankie's free range meat that we're probably gonna be sold out of for a couple weeks, but we have it for now. I just do like a thin layer of mustard on one side of the bread. So the reason I started making roast beef is the stuff in the supermarket is usually not grass fed. And if it is grass fed, it tastes completely horrible. So we got grass fed beef here with organic black pepper and land salt cooked rare, very, very delicious. The nice thing about roast beef is it's made from top around, which is a very, very lean meat. And if you're trying to you know, reduce your fat intake to take stress off the liver, it's one of the best cuts there is. Got our sandwich. Can a butter knife cut through this? So that first meal of pancakes was about getting those dense carbohydrates in our stomach, getting some calories in, small amount of probiotics and B vitamins from the kefir. This, we actually have some protein. And keep in mind, you know, the first thing you want to do is get someone on a decent, healthy diet. Then you can worry about increasing their protein intake because, yeah, from the standard American diet, you do want to be eating probably meat with every meal. But again, this whole day of eating is about being approachable. So roast beef sandwich, very lean beef, high in amino acids, B vitamins, animal protein, decent amount of animal-based minerals, potato chips are... Super high in potassium, and potatoes are really an excellent source of many minerals, including copper. The only issue is the vegetable seed oil. So definitely try to make some yourself if you can. And again, we're doing the kefir grains and the water kefir for probiotic. Sourdough bread, just more calories, really. Again, starch to soak up those toxins coming out of the liver, which we want a decent amount with every meal. And the main reason I like this meal is because there's no prep. You put the roast beef on the bread, potato chips, good to go. So 
So same thing as with breakfast, halfway through the meal, we're gonna have some kefir grains, about a tablespoon. And about a teaspoon of mastic gum. All right, so I'm pretty full, guys. I'm feeling good mainly because of the water kefir and kefir grains, guys. I will repeat myself over and over again. This is a living culture of bacteria that is eating the bread, it's eating the chips, it's eating that pancake earlier, and it's making sure my body's organs, enzymes are not excessively stressed. And what I'll say is, you know, if you're not making this yourself or buying it from me, just be mindful that you know, what kind of water are they using, what quality sugar, that type of stuff. So, you know, if you're going to spend all this money and effort on high quality organic food, you know, some jerk off farmer might be using fluoride in something he's selling you. So just keep that in mind. Uh, same with breakfast. If you want a little something extra after the meal, just like a small piece of fruit, like apple, pear, banana, that would be great. But I'm very full now. So we'll leave that for dinner. All right, guys, we are back for dinner. And I was really trying to think, what would a standard American dieter typically have for dinner? I came up with spaghetti and meatballs. And like the other meals today, we are going to do a rift on the quality of ingredients. So I'm using things that I know are good for my liver, that I tolerate well in the meatballs, as well as removing some things that you typically see in spaghetti. So let me show you guys what we have. So instead of tomato sauce on the spaghetti, we're just gonna do a light garlic oil with some MCT oil. That's why we're sauteing the organic garlic in the pan here. That's all done, just some light flavor. We have some mineral water boiling for our durum wheat semolina pasta from Italy. And I made some meatballs with a very lean top round grind, which we're out of on Frankie's syringe meat. I might get some more. And in those meatballs, I put Italian seasoning, salt, some coconut milk and bread crumbs. Not the typical meatball ingredients, but I know each of these sits well in my stomach and it's gonna be a nice flavor as well. I'm not gonna show you guys everything. We're just gonna boil the pasta, saute the meatballs, and then put the garlic oil on the pasta. You guys will see it all together when I sit down to eat. So here we have it guys, our meatballs and spaghetti. Very approachable, very delicious meal. And as I said earlier, you, know, you might have to incorporate more protein into your diet, especially if you're coming from a standard American diet. But to start off, this is excellent. You can have a few egg whites with breakfast if you want, but having the roast beef for lunch and then some meatballs for dinner, you're getting at least you know three quarters of a pound of beef in your diet, plenty. The meatballs are very nice. Plain, super soft texture, not over seasoned, melts in your mouth. The pasta, very delicious. When you have a high quality durum wheat semolina, if you cook it in mineral water, put just a little bit of garlic and oil on it, very, very good. Has to be al dente though. All right guys, same exact thing we did earlier. We're gonna have some more of the kefir grains as a probiotic. Another tablespoon or so. and some more mastic gum as well. All right guys, I'm not really that hungry for dinner. So only different thing we're gonna do is have a couple of capsules of charcoal just in case so we sleep okay. So I think I've given you guys some pretty good ideas for meals that are similar to what, you know, a normal person would eat. You know, for dinner, you could also do like a cheeseburger instead of cheese, put like onions and mushrooms on it, have some homemade french fries with that. You could do just the classic like steak, potato with a side dish, cauliflower, you know, the meat, the starch, the vegetable. Those are all excellent, excellent choices. If you go organic, if you go grass fed, if you go high quality, remove certain problematic foods and you'll be feeling a lot better very quickly. So thank you guys for joining me today. 
If you're interested in learning more about why I make certain food choices and you know why I stop carnivore, you can schedule a consultation on frank defoncom On there, we also have all of my businesses, Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Uh, you guys can get lean ground beef. We have roast beef. The rest of the stuff you guys can probably get organic at your local supermarket. But if you want water kefir, kefir grains, mastic gum, you'll see that on the food site and the organ supplement site. So thank you guys again for joining me today. And I will see you for tomorrow. One last thing, guys. I will have just an apple as a snack. Sometimes I dip this in the walnut butter. Tonight I'm not doing that. You know, it's just relatively low calories just for fiber, hydration, and just a little something sweet.